Is this really necessary? The guard or the straitjacket? Um, both. I was hoping to have you all to myself. Dr. Quinzel overseeing patient 4479. Security officer Lyle Bolton is present for this session due to last night's incident. Lyle? That is a girl's name. If you and I had a daughter, that's what I'd want to name her. Lyle. It's a compliment. Well, we need to discuss what happened last night. Did, did you get your gift? Are you expecting a thank you card for the dead body left on my desk? I'm not opposed to letter writing. We could be pen pals. Stay in your seat. We are not going to tolerate this kind of behavior. You're right. No more dead Steves in your office. I'm sorry. But dead Lyles, on the other hand. Keep facing forward. Do you have any idea how this is going to affect the DA's decision? This plays right into Field's hands. I can't help you if you're just going to make things worse for yourself. The funny thing about DAs in this town, they don't last very long. No. Do you have any remorse for killing that man? Any guilt at all? Why would I feel that? Then your subconscious is not only uh, repressed, My it's... subconscious? You don't want to know what my subconscious cooks up. My waking hours are bad enough. Last warning before you get put in lockup. Why didn't you try to escape after getting out of your cell? I'll tell you everything you want to know. Just as soon as you call off the ape. I want him gone. I, I want him. I, I want him gone. Bolton, can you give us a minute? It's fine. I didn't want to escape. I wanted to help you. It's his therapy, after all. I'm not the one who needs help. Don't talk like that. Everyone needs help sometimes. And right now it's you. Fields from the DA's office has been here all night going through our files, watching these sessions, and, and he's going to see exactly what you're trying to do. Why are you still here? I'm your doctor. In any relationship, this would be the time to pack up, change locks, and get out. And yet, here you are. I don't understand why you wanted to start the sessions. The mystery. The fame, respect of your colleagues, if you cured me. But, in case you hadn't noticed, a man's dead because of you. You are not making me responsible? responsible? I think it's cute that we're finishing each other's sentences now. You're unbearable. That reminds me of two dreams that I had last night. The first one had you in it. But, obviously, this is not the best time to mention that. The second one, I go bear hunting. At the Gotham City Zoo. And where else am I going to find a bear? <laughs> and it isn't long before a great big grizzly comes into my sights. And I take a... Bang! I get him right between the eyes. I walk over and take out my hunting knife. And I got... And then something goes wrong. Uh, that's not a bear anymore. It's a man wearing a bear costume. And I'm not at the zoo. I, I'm at a theme park. And there's kids running, screaming everywhere. I figure, why stop now? I strap him to the hood of my car and drive back to the hunting lodge. And I skin him like a bear rug for my fireplace. Is this a game to you? Now, I have risked everything on treating you. And I had to fight for these sessions. No one at Arkham thinks I'll be able to change anything. If I fail, they'll just throw you to the next one in line. But where does that leave me? We need to take him out of here now. Why? <clears throat> um, 
What's the problem? We found the body of Vernon Fields in the director's office. Skinned like some sort of animal. We need to question him. Me? I've been with her the whole time. I guess I sleepwalk. Good news is, I don't snore. <laughs> <laughs>